Thank you for joining us today. In this episode of Inventor's Quick Tips, we'll be talking about design patents, what they are, when to use them, and when not to use them. So what is a design patent? When would we want one, and when would we not want one? A design patent is a special type of patent that claims the appearance, how something looks, rather than the way it works. The, they have a term that lasts 15 years, as compared with up to 20 years for a utility patent. The design patent used to be 14 years, but with recent changes in patent law, they changed it to 15 years, so you get an extra year there. Here is a design patent sample for a shoe. With a larger picture, you may recognize this as a croc, which is a brand of shoes that you typically see in the summertime at the beach and the pools. They're made of rubber with lots of holes to keep your feet cool. They have a distinctive look, and crocs wanted to protect that look with a design patent. And that's when you want to use a design patent, when you want to protect the appearance of something. Since the design patent covers how it looks, there's really not much in the way of text in a design patent. Typically just one simple claim to the device as shown and described, followed by the figures. And there are typically seven figures in a design patent. A perspective view, two side views, front and back, and top and bottom. So let's check it out. Here are the, some of the views. So we have the perspective, the front, the back, the side, the other side, and here we have the top and the bottom. And these popular shoes have some unique features, such as the distinctive vent holes, a movable strap to let the shoe be worn as a clog or sandal, and none of these details matter for a design patent. In a design patent, we don't talk about what material the shoe is made of or what the movable strap can accomplish. Those details can be put in a utility patent, but they are not included in a design patent. The utility patent is for functional features. You can file for both a design patent and a utility patent if you want to protect both how the invention works and how it looks. And this is actually a common practice in certain cases to file both design and utility patents for a invention. Here is a design patent drawing from a tire. The design patent covers the tread. Here in the larger picture you can see a distinctive tread pattern. The tire manufacturer, in this case Michelin, wanted to protect this distinctive tread. Note that the sidewall of the tire is in dotted lines. The dotted lines in a design patent indicate portions that are not actually part of the claim design. The solid lines for the tread are what is being claimed in this situation. In many cases, the claim design is part of some larger product. And to give a context, it is often necessary to see the design in the, its context. So it's common to see design patents with dotted lines for parts that give a context. In this case, the sidewall of the tire in dotted lines lets us know that we are looking at the tread for a tire and not wallpaper or something like that. So just to recap, design patents only cover appearance. For describing how something works and its functional features, a utility patent is the proper thing to use. And just a few more points to cover. A design patent is generally easier to get than a utility patent. Why? Because unless there's something that looks very similar in appearance, there is a pretty high chance you will get the design patent to issue. Because it is easy to get, there are some invention services companies that push design patents since they are easier to obtain. However, in many cases, the design patent doesn't provide the protection that the inventor is looking for. In many cases, it is more important to cover how something works rather than how it looks. But if you need to protect a distinctive look, such as Croc sandals or Michelin tires, then a design patent may make sense. Design patents are a whole different thing than utility patents. So if you are pursuing a design patent, use somebody who has experience with design patents. Not every patent professional does a lot of design patent work. So for design patents, the skill of the drafting service is of primary importance, and the patent attorney or agent guides that process. Lastly, Remember that you can file both a design patent and a utility patent for the same invention. 
So hopefully this gave you some insights into the design patent. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you found this video interesting or helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.